In this video, I'll show you how to change the color of an object in Photoshop. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. In this image here, I want to go and change the color of my hoodie. So let's go and do this. The first thing we need to do is actually go and select the object which you want to go and change the color of. So in this case, I need to go and select my hoodie. So there's a few different ways we can go and select the object. Firstly, what you'll need to do though is go over to the left hand side. So personally, I like to go and use the object selection tool, which is this one here, the fourth option down. It's called object selection tool, or you can press W. You may need to go and hold your left mouse button on this, and then you're gonna go and see a few more options. As you can see, there's a few. I want object selection tool. And what we can do is just go and drag this, but I'll show you that in just a moment. If you can't go and use object selection tool, then what I recommend doing is using the polygonal lasso tool. And then what you can do is go and work around your image like so, selecting it all like this. You can also go and zoom in to make things slightly easier but I prefer to use the object selection tool so I'll select this like so and then what you need to do is go and drag around the object which you want to go and select so in this case I want my hoodie so I'll go and drag it all up like so now this isn't always going to be a hundred percent precise don't worry we can go and edit it afterwards as well so as you can see, that's done quite a good job there actually, and I think it's got everything. However, if you find that you want to go and add a little bit more to the selection, or you may want to go and remove something, then here's how. What you'll need to do is make sure the object selection tool is still selected, and if you want to go and add stuff, then hold shift and then drag over what you want to go and add, for example like this, and then hopefully it's going to go and add a bit more like that, it's got my chin a bit there. And then if I want to go and remove something, all you need to do is hold alt, so I'll then go and go over my chin, to go and remove it again, just like that. Now what you need to do is go over to the right and find the layers tab, which is just here, so make sure it's selected. And then what you need to do is go to the bottom, and firstly, you need to go and create a new group. So tap on that sort of folder icon, like so. Then once you've created the group, then what we need to do is go and make a mask. So to do that, go and tap on the mask button. Next, you'll need to go to the bottom again and go and tap on the adjustment layer button, which is this one here. And then what you'll need to do is go and tap on solid color like this. And then as you can see, it's now made it all white and you want to go and choose the color which you want to go and change the object to. So in this case, I might try doing like a green or a blue. Um, let me find a good color, maybe a color like this. Then once you're happy with it, go and tap on OK. And what you'll need to then do is go and create another layer. And then this time is actually the brightness layer. So make sure you go and select this group option again, and then go and tap uh, on the adjustment layer button and press on brightness and contrast like this. Staying in the layer section like this, what you then need to do is drag the color fill layer above the brightness, just like this. Making sure the color fill layer is selected, then go up to the blending option where it says normal. Just select there, and what you need to do is go and select color at the bottom like this. And as you can see, it's already started doing it, which is quite cool. And then what you can do is again go uh, into brightness and contrast, and then you can then go and adjust the brightness to go and get the color of the hoodie you'd like. So as you can see, that actually looks really realistic, and it looks like I'm wearing a blue hoodie just like that and you can also go and change the contrast as well so you can go and get the right effect for you but that's it guys then of course you can go and save this image and do whatever you want with it if you guys found this useful please consider leaving a like peace